Being the first to, to climb a mountain has always seemed very exciting to me. Climbing for me is totally creative. It is an art form. It's quite a complicated game. Am I going to panic? Is it going to feel absolutely horrible? And it's harder to keep your composure. I think what happens with mountaineering and expeditioning is that it gets under your skin and you can't quite shake it off. What if we actually didn't just push that a little bit harder and ah! take it to our limit? Wouldn't we be further sort of dissatisfied? Because that's where all the interest is, in going where no one's gone before. The summit was there, then we crawled up on knees and, and hands for the fact that the storm was so strong. Everything went to pieces because you are, I mean, you, you are happy, you, you cry, you laugh. I, I remember him sort of shaking. Things which had seemed impossible before, suddenly they were there to be taken. We were part of a revolution and continually ascending these routes till we reached the summit to climb them what was called alpine style. You stay sharp. I just miss it if I'm not doing it, you know. I've got to climb, you know. All that day I was sort of crossing barriers. I was at my absolute physiological limit. I felt no gravity. There were no thoughts of fear or danger or... As much as you feel elation that it's finished, you can still vividly remember the pain you've gone through. But the speed in which that pain disappears. Risk is, has its own value for its power. The escapism of climbing has its own value in simplicity. The mountain, to me, never has been an enemy. Just got off safely, feeling clear-headed, feeling my strength come back, feeling so much at peace with myself. I just don't think there's any better feeling than that. Each generation has the chance to reinvent climbing. You have to find new approaches, and there is still everything there to invent and reinvent climbing. Classical alpinism, in touch with creativity, will never die.